Hello friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Julia and tonight I'm just going to be filming a night routine or just kind of like a summer night in my life. I have an everything shower in store for me. It is important for you guys to know that the everything shower starts before you even get in the shower. We just got back from dinner at one of our relatives houses. It's 7.57 and I'm really excited for tonight. I have a lot of fun things in store. A lot of it consists of self care. It's gonna be a good night. So first of all, if my hair looks super oily and greasy, that's because it is, I put this oil all over my scalp and massaged it in about three hours ago. This stuff is just supposed to be really good for like strengthening your hair and just helping it look super healthy. It has rosemary in it and that's supposed to be just like amazing for your hair. I'm also gonna be putting in this hair mask. This is the Olaplex number eight. This has to sit for like 20 minutes before I get in the shower. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. I'm so scared to take my hair down. No, this is so bad. Oh my gosh, it just got worse. My hair's very ready for wash day. I got this spray bottle off of Amazon. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. Oh, I just created an Amazon storefront. So if you guys want to see all of my super fun Amazon finds, you can check that out. This thing's great because it's like a continuous mister. The Olaplex hair products are so, so, so good. They look really bad. Okay. Mm. I'm all out of the shower and I want to show you guys my current shower products because I think one of my biggest flexes in life is I've had numerous people tell me that I smell good. That compliment means more than any other compliment ever has to me. In the shower, I use my tried and true Panoxyl. I normally use Moroccan oil, but I found these two BioSilk shampoo and conditioner bottles on sale at Marshalls. So I bought them and I've just been using them for the summer. They've been nice, but I definitely think I'm going to switch back to my Moroccan oil stuff when I'm done. I use these in the shower. This is the body scrub. By Sol de Janeiro, and this is the body wash. I'm obsessed with both of these mainly because of the scent. Obviously, the quality is like decent, but not enough to defend the price. I probably won't repurchase these. The one big issue that I have with this body scrub is it's just not pretty enough. I need a scrub that I really feel like is getting in there. Like, I want to feel like my skin is practically getting sanded off. That sounds bad, but it's the only way that I feel like I'm actually exfoliating my skin. For shaving, I use this EOS 24 hour moisture shave cream. And then also, for the one person that asked about my shave, routine my biggest tip to you is you need like a four at least four blade razor preferably five to finish things off i will be applying this sol de janeiro body cream i did I, I got the whole set i did it it happened this stuff smells so good and i've yet to find something that smells like this scent if you guys know of anything please comment it down below because it's doing a real deal on my bank account i also have the stupid body mist too i'm getting my hair done at the end of this month and i'm so excited but also so nervous i think it's gonna be good i'm like in too deep already I did a lot of stocking and the girl that's gonna be doing my hair It seems like she's really experienced. So I trust her. I feel like I've never really gotten like a big girl haircut I've always just kind of gotten the like straight across and got some little curtain bangs besides that I feel like I never really did anything fun with my hair. I think we're due for a change Oh my gosh, every time I like run my hand down the back of my head I can just feel the wave patch. I don't even can you guys see it? I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's there. We are back in my room I'm going to be moisturizing my skin with this stuff. I'm like almost I'm almost angry that this stuff smells so good because I don't want to like it because then I end up buying it. Finally done with my everything shower. I feel super clean, squeaky clean. I thought I would give you guys a haul because this past weekend was tax-free weekend in Massachusetts and I did a little bit of shopping. I got some fun things. So I went into Boston yesterday with one of my teammates from Brown. Don't worry, I got stuff from places other than just Nike, but they make you pay for bags now. So I just kept everything in this. Also, you guys would be proud of me. I didn't do a lot of impulsive buying. I did, I did buy some things. But normally, if I like it just enough, I'll buy it and I won't really rationalize about it all time. First thing that I got was this little tank from Zara. This is just so cute to me. It's kind of giving Cape Cod. I really liked it and it was only $8. So very good find. The next thing that I got was the thing that I got from Nike. I had a Nike gift card. So these were basically free because I didn't actually have to pay for them at all. Girl math. These are the tight fit high rise full length. I feel like there should be another word after that. I love these. They look so great on. The material is phenomenal and they also make my butt look really good. Oh my gosh. Guys, you're either gonna love this or hate this. This is the other thing that I got from Zara. Hear me out. It's a tube top, super cute, but then it has this little dangly here. And you might be wondering, does this go anywhere? And my answer is no, it does not. And I love it. I just, why do I have to defend myself? I'm not defending myself anymore. 
I like it and that is enough. And then finally, I got the viral Brandy Melville little sleep boy short boxer things. I don't know. I just wanted to get them, so I got them. A lot of them felt super cheapy to me, but this material is actually kind of nice. I also went out shopping with my friend Alexia. She was one of my friends from Club Gymnastics. You might remember her from some of my older videos, but we went shopping the other week, caught up on a lot of things, and did some college shopping. I just got these. They're by Gilly Hicks. They're cute. They're just like sleep shorts. They low-key make me look like a refrigerator but whatever. Also, Alexia had a 40% discount on everything Gilly Hicks and Abercrombie because she works at Abercrombie. So I was like, yeah, we're doing that. These were the final two things that I got. These pants that fit me perfectly and are just everything I could have ever wanted in a pant. And then these also fit really well and just very, very cute. If you guys are ever looking for good denim, go to Abercrombie. Now that I just did that little haul for you guys, these are not part of the haul. These are just clean clothes that I need to put away that I have not been putting away for the past few days. And it's, it's about time. So we're going to be putting some clothes away, including the new clothes that I got. Now that we are done with the most boring part of my night routine, we can move on to the most fun part. It's time to do skincare. If you guys are new to this channel, I'm obsessed with skincare. Also, I have been absolutely obsessed with this mirror. I got it from Wayfair. Absolutely love it. I don't know how I made it 20 years without this. And also this skincare fridge. This is my sister's, but she doesn't really use it. So I stole it. Look how gorgeous. It's so cute. Like I eat that stuff up. But anyways, tonight is a very exciting skincare night because we are going to be trying new products. I'm really late to this trend. I normally am. I get stubborn that I'm different and that I'm not gonna fall into these trends, but then I end up getting into them and loving them for the same reasons that everybody else does. So anyways, this is the snail mucin trend. I do know that you're supposed to apply it to like a damp face. So I think I'm literally just gonna spray my face with this thing. And also everybody's been freaking out about how you have to pat it into your skin and not rub. So we will be following instructions properly oh my gosh as I'm doing this, I guess I can give you guys some life updates. The biggest one is that I am now unemployed. So for those of you that didn't know, I was working the sales internship near home just for the summer, just to get some experience under my belt. And it was going really great. I worked there for about two months. Earlier this week, they had to lay me off because the entire building flooded. On Tuesday, I went into work, normal work day. The only thing that was a little bit different was that there was this huge thunderstorm going on. But mind you, I'm from New England. Like we deal with crazy weather all the time. I didn't really think too much of it, I was like, this is pretty intense, but we're gonna be fine. I was incorrect. The company that I was working at was located at the bottom of this hill, and at the top of that hill was this huge dam that was blocking off this pond. So when it was raining, I think it was a mixture of the pond overflowing and the dam cracking or something, and it just flooded the building completely. I do feel really bad for the company that I was working for. I'm really sad that I wasn't able to say goodbye to anyone and that just my internship ended so abruptly, but I really feel bad for the smaller restaurants and businesses that also got flooded and destroyed because it's gonna be a lot harder for them to get back up and running. The company that I was working for this summer was an international company. It obviously sucks and it's like gonna hurt them a lot, but they're gonna be okay. I know they're gonna be okay. I'm just really worried about those smaller businesses. They can't really afford that. Like they don't really have that type of security or wiggle room time to kind of get back up and running. So they are in my thoughts and prayers and I hope that everything works out fine for everybody. I really miss the people that I work with. I didn't get to say goodbye to any of them, which is really sad. They did invite me back for the the fall and winter terms, but I'm not able to go back because of gymnastics. So the only other time that I would be able to work there would be next summer, but I am not going to be doing that because I do want to give myself time to experience other things before I settle in on any sort of job. All in all, my internship was so good this summer. I honestly could not have asked for a better position, but it's just so sad that it ended so abruptly. I guess other life updates, I'm gonna start a podcast. I was really teetering back and forth about telling you guys Oh, like I might start a podcast holding myself accountable. I'm going to start a podcast right now I'm trying to outline my first episodes and get everything in line and just figure it out I need to figure out like my channel art and just how the ropes work podcasting is so new to me I have no experience with that at all. That's kind of it for big life updates for me I feel like I had a lot more to tell you guys, but my mind's kind of drawing a blank now first impression on using both of these products together They're fantastic. I really like how lightweight they are and they dry 
dry into the skin really quickly and just make your skin feel so soft and smooth and nice. I'm also gonna be applying this Grande Lash. I like can't tell if this stuff is working. I definitely like Babe Lash better. This stuff I think irritates my eyes. I am going to continue using it because I paid a lot of money for it and I think I missed the return window. So I just have to be really careful about like not getting it in my eye at all. Gotta end off the skincare routine with my tried and true Aquaphor. This stuff never gets old. It's August 13th. I basically only have a half a month until I move back into school. How is that possible? I genuinely feel like I just moved out. This always happens. Like whether it's me going home from school or me going back to school, time is just flying right now. And I cannot believe it. I'm gonna be a junior. That's like not okay. And now I'm having this like mini life crisis because I'm like, I feel like my whole entire life was pre-written out for me up until college. Like I knew I was gonna go to college. I knew I really wanted to do gymnastics in college. I guess just up until this point, I knew what to expect and I just, felt like I was going through the motions and I kind of just had to do it. Not because I didn't want to, but just because like that was my mission. Like I needed to do X, Y, Z to get to this point. But now that I'm through with that and now that I actually have free will to decide what I want to do after college, I'm like shutting down because I don't know what to do. Ah, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay, so it's 9.53. I did have good intentions. I was gonna read, but now that I'm in bed, I'm exhausted and I honestly just wanna scroll on TikTok and go to bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've been trying to get through this book for like over a year now. It's really bad. And I know this book is good. I just like cannot bring myself to read it. During the day, I just never crave reading a book because I just feel like I'm on my grind. I'm just going, going, going the entire day. So you would think that like the nighttime would be the perfect time for me to read. But no, I have like the attention span of a pet rock at night and I just can't focus like I can guarantee if I started reading this I would fall asleep by the second page if something isn't like holding my attention fully and completely and it requires minimal effort at night I'm falling asleep even movies like I can't do it that's why I'm not a huge like Netflix or movie or show person because I just can't sit through them like unless they absolutely have every ounce of my attention I am falling asleep I guess that's just a personal problem that I need to work on but I smell burning I think it's my lamp it's definitely my lamp. I haven't turned that thing on in like, honestly, years. Anyways, we will not be reading tonight and that is okay. So sorry. Isn't this guy like the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look at him. Oh my gosh, I can't. Stuffed animals are the one thing that I never outgrew from my childhood. Don't know why, I just, I just never outgrew it. He's so cute. And you know what's even more sentimental about him? I got him from my internship. The place that I worked at was this toy development company and they basically helped create, market, and sell these toy products. They have this storage room out back that was unfortunately completely destroyed with the flooding, but I was able to save this guy in time. I'm so glad that I have kind of like a physical memento for my internship. It's just always gonna hold such a special place in my heart because it was my first job. It was my first internship. It was a lot of like firsts for me and I'm just really appreciative for everything that I was able to learn from it. He's so cute. I'm obsessed with him. Cannot get enough. And also he like matches my bedroom theme, which is like gray, white, and pink. Like it cannot be more perfect, but enough talk about this stuffed animal. I think I'm gonna go to bed soon. It's almost 10 o'clock. It's basically my bedtime. I've been going to bed so early recently just because I've been wanting to. I'm finally in like a very peaceful state. I feel like I definitely had some ups and downs this summer. Sometimes where I was just super frantic and anxious about absolutely anything and everything. And knock on wood, I feel like I'm finally past that. Obviously, those waves will come again, but I think I'm in a peaceful period, and I'm very grateful for that. I feel very content, inspired, excited about just life, and I feel like I can actually live in the moment. It's such a breath of fresh air, because when I'm super anxious, I just get so upset because I feel like I'm not appreciating anything as it's happening. I'm just so caught up in dwelling on things that happened in the past, or just things that might happen in the future. Just really not being present with myself, and it just frustrates me, so I'm glad that I've kind of been able to bring myself back to ground zero. Oh my gosh, also, I like stripped my sheets and put brand new sheets on my bed. So I'm gonna be sleeping like a baby tonight because I shaved my legs, I exfoliated, moisturized, the whole nine yards. Like these sheets are about to feel like the softest sheets of my life. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and just hanging out with me. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all of your love and support. I can't believe how close school is. I hope you guys are getting ready for all of the back to school content. I also can't believe that I'm gonna be a junior. There's a lot of things that are just beyond my comprehension. With that said, I love you guys so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be sure to see you all in the next one. Bye guys.